Hi there and welcome back. It's Lisa from Critters and Ink Designs in Ontario, Canada. And today um, I'm absolutely hooked on this Hey Chuck uh, stamp set. I got the glare of my windows right here. And it's just so cute. I've got all of the chicken um, stamps and dies over the last few years and I'm just addicted to them. I think they're so cute. So I'm going to switch down to my desk view and uh, show you the card that we're going to make. I saw this card, somebody on one of the demonstrator planning uh, sites made this card and I just thought that is adorable. So I thought I would just go ahead and case this card. So let's get started. I don't, I just have a few minutes to do this video but I thought I would just jump in and do a quickie for you. So to get started, our card base is pecan pie. It's one of our new colors and uh, I'm going to make a typical card base which is four and a quarter by five and a half so I'm going to score it at four and a quarter on the short side I'm going to turn it around uh, and rotate it and cut it at five and a half so this will give me two card bases but what I want to do is I want to create this little door okay so I'm going to take the uh, five and a half inch side and I'm going to cut it in half at two and three quarters, but only till that first score line. So let me just line it up here and I'm going to take my blade and I'm going to take my score, my cutting blade and I'm going to come right down to four and a quarter and there's a little um, pointer on the cutting blade and I can stop right at four and a quarter. And then I'm going to put this back in at four and a quarter this way. And I'm going to line up my score lines here and I'm going to cut this little portion right off. So I'm going to slide down until I get to two and three quarters and cut that off. Okay. And so here is the front of our card. Isn't that adorable? Okay. And we're going to keep this because we need it to make this part of the card. So that's going to sit just like that. I made this card a few days ago and I couldn't remember if I had trimmed it or not. So obviously I didn't. And the next thing we're going to need is a couple of pieces of basic white. And I'm going to be using the, I guess I don't need this. Let me just get this out of the way. We're going to be using the radiating stitches dies which are part of the online exclusives that are available only on the website they're not in any catalogs so the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to cut uh, the large one right out of this piece of card and what i do every whenever my supply is getting low is i'll take an entire package of basic white and I cut it into card fronts, which is four by five and a quarter. And then all the little strips that are left over, I keep in an, in an envelope for doing uh, sentiments and, and whatever. So I always have these handy. I have a stack of them that I keep handy. And then I'm going to take the middle size. So this is the large and this is the middle size. And I think it's the middle. And I'm going to cut that out as well. So let me go ahead and cut these out. Okay, so here we have our large piece that will go on the inside of the card. And then our front piece that will go on the little door. So this cuts out your, you can see that I have little scraps left. This actually cuts right around the entire die as well. And put these back in here so the cats don't knock them on the floor. And then, so on the uh, inside, we're just going to stamp, it's your birthday. Did I bring my ink? No, I did not. Okay. And then on the outside, we're going to do this piece. So let's do the little piece first because that's where all the action is. And I'm going to need my fence.
and a chicken. So I'll use the other half of my piece where I cut out my, my uh, frame and I'm going to stamp my chicken and that will be big enough. So let me grab a block for that. And I'm just gonna use Memento Black to stamp both of those. So I'm gonna stamp the fence kind of right in the middle. And then I'm gonna stamp the chicken. It doesn't matter where I stamp the chicken because I'm gonna be cutting them out anyway. Make sure I get all those feathers. So cute. And I have a bunch of markers that I was using when I did the other one. So I'm going to do the fence just in crumb cake. I don't want it to be too, too dark. So I'm just going to go ahead and do this in crumb cake. And I'm just using the dark crumb cake. I'm not too fussed about this. Most of it's going to be covered up anyway. Now, one of the keys to using the uh, Stampin' Blends is that you don't press very hard. The paintbrush tip is very well inked and you really don't need to press hard at all. I'm barely touching the paper because if you press too hard, you'll damage the the top of the brush part. So I'm just adding a little bit of extra ink here to give it a little bit of texture. And there's our fence. And then we'll go ahead and color our chicken. And uh, let's see, what do I have here? I've got lemon lolly, daffodil delight, and real red and what's this Cajun craze so I'll do Cajun craze on his feet and his beak It's so cute. And then, what's this? Dark Daffodil Delight. I'm gonna put a little bit on his tail. And we can blend that in with the red. And then I'm gonna go ahead and give him a bit of detail here. And come back in with the light Daffodil Delight. And then I'm going to come in with the light real red. I'll just do his crown here. I guess that's what you call the top of the chicken, right? The crown? I have no idea. Never had a chicken. But we'll see. I think that's what I was. Now I went outside the line a little bit there, so I'm just going to take my color lifter and it's the white one here. I'm just going to quickly write over it and that will disappear that little bit that I went over. And then I'll take the dark real red and just highlight a little bit. I'll do the inside of his mouth and his tongue. I'm absolutely addicted to these chickens. <laughs> and then I've got the light again, and I'm going to do his tail, and I'm going to blend with the yellow just a bit here. So 
horrible. Just gonna blend that. And there's our chicky. All right, he looks a little menacing. All right, so let's cut him out. And I've got the dyeser here. I'll take out the sunburst dye because we're gonna need that one as well. And, um, all right, so we'll go ahead and cut this guy out. And I'm just going to put a little piece of washi tape to hold the dye in place. So I'd like it to cut straight. There we are. Here's our chicken. Isn't he so cute? <laughs> oh my gosh, I just think he's adorable. All right, so we're going to stamp our sentiment on the bottom here. And I just, I'm going to choose, you've got something to curl about here. Um, I'm just going to put that right at the bottom. And then I have a, now I have a little bit left of my, the copper clay uh, ribbon, but this is all I have left and I'm doing this class for a card. But what I did find in my gosh was some of the retired cinnamon cider, which works just fine. So I'm going to use that. I was watching Connie Stewart. And this is how she does her knots and it's brilliant so i'm going to i've got my ribbon wrapped around my bone folder and i'm going to tie a knot in it and then i'm just going to cut my ribbon and there's my knot isn't that brilliant so I have to say thank you to Connie Stewart for that one. She has lots of great tips and tricks. She's an American uh, demonstrator with a lot of years of doing this. Some adhesive here, and I want it up sort of here. So I'm gonna pop this onto here. How so cute. And then I'm going to glue it onto here. I'll, most of my supplies are upstairs, so I'm kind of winging it here a little bit. Okay, and I'm gonna center that. And I'm going to take my little chicken and put him on dimensionals. Right, here's some from a paper pumpkin. I'll just use those. So I might pop this, these onto the back of my chicken. You can tell this was a last minute idea. <laughs> I was down here putting away my new order and I thought, I'm going to make a chicken. All right, so let's pop this on here. All right, so my little chicken is going to go here on top of the fence. And then our last element that we need to cut out is the sunrise. And actually, I think this one's daffodil delight, but you know what? I'm in a pinch. We're going to use it. 
So I'm going to put this on here and I'm going to run it through my mini cut and emboss machine, which if you don't have one, a little traveler, you can get these in the annual catalog. And on the online store, there's actually a blue version, which is, believe it or not, a little bit less expensive and uh, limited edition. All right, so all I need for this is half of this. So I'm just going to pop it in the corners. I'm just going to go ahead and cut this in half. doesn't have to be exact. And I'm just going to pop this right in the corner like this. And there's the front of our card. And I also need a piece of the in color designer series paper for 22, 23, 24, I think. Oh, 23, 25. Now, because I've cut out so many of these, I don't, oh, that'll fit. I wasn't certain that I had a piece big enough left because I've cut my pieces up for my class tomorrow, but um, this will do just fine. So I'm going to go ahead and pop that on my little door. See, flying by the seat of my pants. That's all right. So I'm just going to go ahead and center that on here. And then I'm just going to put adhesive on the bottom of this one and just center that in here so that it's more or less centered. <laughs> Can you hear Roxy? It's dinner time. Do you like feed me? And there we have that. It's a little bit crooked. Let me just straighten that out. It's better. Okay, so there's the front of our card. Now for the inside of our card, I'm going to stamp, or it's your birthday. So there's our little cake. And our it's your birthday. And I'm just going to grab the copper uh, ink. So I've got the copper clay ink. It's your birthday into this card. And for some reason, I don't know if I put the label on it crooked or what, but it's a little bit lopsided. So I'm going to um, try and correct it. Not bad. And my little cake. There we are. And let's glue that to the inside of the card. There, so cute. And we just need a couple of little embellishments and I've got the adhesive back solid gems and these are in the new in colors. So we're just going to put a few of the copper, um, the little copper ones there. I'm going to put one over here. And one over here. And there's our card. Now for the envelope, I'm not really sure what to put on the envelope. I guess we could put it a different chicken. Let's grab an envelope here. We could go ahead and put on one of the other chickens. Maybe this guy. He's kind of fun. But I'm not going to color him. This one here. So this one doesn't have his label on yet. So I'll show you quickly how to put a label on your um, stamps if you haven't done that before. So let me zoom in a tiny bit and I'm just going to grab a block so 
So I'm going to take the backing off my stamp. So it has a like a protective backing on it. And I'm going to take the label right off of the carrier sheet. And I'm just going to pop that right onto my block. Then I'm going to lift the carrier, the protector sheet off of this label. And then I'm going to, I'm just going to stand up for this. And then I'm going to match the label exactly to the stamp. And there I have a perfect um, label onto my chicken. Okay. And that's for me the easiest way to do it to make sure that they're straight. And I didn't actually do that on the happy birthday one. I wish I had. But anyway, so I'm going to take the copper clay again. And I'm going to just ink up this chicken. And I'm going to stamp it on the front of my envelope here. So cute. Oops. Zoom back out. Isn't that cute? Adorable. All right. So that is our card for the Hey Chuck Chickens. And um, I hope you like it. It's so fun. These whole the whole chicken series is so so cute. So luckily, I've been lucky enough to be able to purchase them um, as they've come up over the years, and uh, they're keepers for me. I don't think I'll ever get rid of these. I just love them. So I hope you enjoyed this card. Have a great afternoon, and we'll see you soon. Bye for now.